Hey man, what's wrong? Nothing. I just really want to learn how to code, but I don't want to go to college or a boot camp. I can teach you. But you're me. Yeah, haven't you ever heard of being self-taught? All you need to learn how to code is a computer and an internet connection, and you can learn from the comfort of your own home. Really, with Google and YouTube, you have pretty much everything you need in order to learn how to code. Nowadays, most of us turn to the internet whenever we have a problem or need to figure out how to fix something at home. If your car is broken or you have a DIY home repair that you need to do, you're probably gonna Google or YouTube it. If you wanna learn how to play a musical instrument, you're probably gonna turn to the internet as well. And the same is true for learning how to code. If you wanna learn how to code, you're just an internet search away from getting started. And with the internet being such an awesome place, there are limitless amounts of learning resources in order for you to get started. There's other platforms that will sell you courses, and there's a lot of free curriculum out there. I usually recommend Free Code Camp or The Odin Project because those are two completely free resources and their goal is to try to get you job ready. So if you are in fact trying to learn how to code in order to become a professional software developer, there you go. I'm gonna use this as a segue into one of the other reasons why I think that going self-taught is better than a college or a boot camp, is that you can do it for free. You can avoid getting into debt, you can avoid taking out student loans, you can avoid having to pay for a boot camp. Even though some boot camps are as low as $2,000, some boot camps are as high as $30,000 or more. And college is very expensive. If you wanna get a computer science degree, you're gonna spend tens of thousands of dollars in order to do so. If you decide to go self-taught, you can save yourself a ton of money and you can avoid getting into debt. Also, another thing that's great about going self-taught over going to a college or a boot camp is that if you're going self-taught and you maybe have purchased a couple courses or you just did it for free with YouTube or free code camp, you're not committed. And that's one of the best things about going self-taught is that you can try it out and then if you like it, you can go all in and keep learning or you can move on to something else because maybe coding just wasn't for you and you really didn't enjoy it. Now, some boot camps will advertise themselves as free unless you get hired somewhere but you gotta be careful because there's a lot of fine print that you need to read. Many boot camps offer ISAs, which are income shared agreements, and you're basically signing a contract saying that if you do get a job as a programmer after attending a boot camp, you're gonna have to pay them back. Now, some of those income shared agreements last up to five or seven years. Now, if you decide to go to college for computer science because you wanna learn how to code, and then halfway through you decide that you actually don't wanna follow through with computer science, you're gonna be committed financially at that point. And that's why I go right back to the self-taught route because I think it's just a better deal overall if you're not totally sure this is what you wanna do and you just wanna give it a try, you don't have to have that financial commitment that can end up putting you in a lot of debt or put you in a burden. Now, many times people will tell you that going to a college or a boot camp will offer you many benefits that being self-taught won't. Now, while there are some benefits that colleges and boot camps have over going self-taught, I tend to argue this point a lot because many of the benefits that people tell you that you have at a boot camp or a college over going self taught are just things that you can go out and do on your own if you do decide to go the self-taught route. A lot of the times people will tell you that networking is one of the most important things that you get from a college or a boot camp, And that's true, but there's plenty of meetups and there's plenty of ways to network as a self-taught developer that you can do on your own and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run if all you want out of going to a boot camp or a college is to be able to network with people in the industry. Really, there's there's alternatives to these things and many people think that, well, you'll be job ready by the time you complete college. The truth is that college a lot of the times teaches more theory than practice and a lot of college graduates come out not really having the technical know-how to implement things that you would need in order to be job ready. Now, now with the boot camp, you're not learning all the theories of computer science, but the thing is that it's such a short period of time that you attend a boot camp for that a lot of that stuff doesn't stick. And what happens to both college graduates and boot camp graduates is that they end up graduating and then they still have to build projects for their personal portfolio. They have to leak code grind. They have to get their resume ready. They have to network outside of their boot camp and their college just so that they can get a job. Those are all things that you would also do if you were self-taught. When I was self-taught, I did all those things. I built my portfolio, I got my resume ready, I went out and I networked at different meetups and I met developers in my area. I kept applying and I kept grinding out new projects and building new things and learning algorithms and learning data structures and learning all those things that you need in order to get hired. If finding a mentor or networking is the big selling point for you on a boot camp or going to college, 
know that you can find these things online, self-taught or in person at meetups. It's not as difficult as it was five plus years ago when I was learning how to code to find someone online that could help you. There's Discord groups, there's forums that you can join, there's people on Twitter, there's people that you can actually pay to mentor you and you don't necessarily need to go to a $20,000 bootcamp just so you can network or have a mentor. The next thing I'm gonna mention is one of the main reasons why I decided to go self-taught and it was because of time. With a full-time bootcamp or college, you're probably gonna to have to dedicate six to eight hours a day to attending those classes. Now, if you're someone who has a job, if you're someone who has a family, if you're someone who's already working, and if you don't have the ability to commit that kind of time, then boot camps and colleges are almost not even an option. I know for me at the time when I was learning how to code, I didn't have that kind of time. My wife had just had a baby. We had another kid on the way. I was working four days a week and I just couldn't go to a boot camp every day. That would have also been a huge time commitment for me that I just couldn't afford to do. I could not go to school full time and I couldn't go to a boot camp full time. So I went the self-taught route because you can work it into your own schedule. You can learn at your own pace. You can commit whatever time you have available to you to commit. Now, obviously the more time you have to dedicate to learning, the faster you're gonna learn, but you can still learn on your own time and whatever time that may be. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up by saying that at the end of the day, we're all self-taught to some extent. Even the college grad or the boot camp grad has to teach themselves a lot of stuff in order to get hired. Very rarely do people get hired immediately after graduation. And most of us are gonna continue learning on our own once we become professional developers. Why not just start off by doing it self-taught? That way you can do it from the comfort of your own home, on your own time, and avoid spending a bunch of money or getting in debt. Since at the end of the day, we're pretty much all self-taught. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.